In this video, we will show how to install R on your computer. So let's begin the installation process by going to cran.r-project.org. This website will look similar to this. It may be updated from time to time as far as the look and feel is concerned. But in general, we will have the download link for various installers for Linux, for Mac OS, and Windows platforms. And if you click on one of these, you will be taken to the actual download links for various installers. So if you are on Windows, go ahead and click the link Download R for Windows. You will be taken to R for Windows page. Go ahead and click Install R for the first time. And now click the link Download R 3.6.1 for Windows. By the time you view this video, it's most likely that the latest version has been released. So keep in mind any latest version will be fine for R programming. Once you have downloaded the R installer for Windows, just open it and follow along with the step-by-step -step instructions. Select the language, most probably it will be English and click OK. Click Next. Graphical installers are pretty straightforward. You just select the defaults and click Next. You can select the Create Desktop shortcut. Before you proceed with the installation, it is highly recommended to associate R with R data files. So just go ahead, select Associate R with .R data files and click Next. So now that we have R installed on our computer, just click Finish. To check the installation of R, just click Start on Windows. You should have R folder in Programs. Expand it and click on R i386 if your system is a 32-bit operating system or click on Rx64 if your operating system is 64-bit. Generally, nowadays, if it is Windows 7 or Windows 10, it's 64-bit. So just go ahead and in this case, I will click Rx64 which will open R console, which is the interface to run R code. And it should look something like this. This interface will allow you to execute R commands directly within the R console. Next, we are actually going to type some R statement. Go ahead and type print, open and close parenthesis, and in single quotes, type hello R and hit enter. You should be able to see hello as the output. So this is how you can run R code. Now you have successfully installed R and in your R console, you have written your first R code and executed the print statement. The R console is the R's simple command line, allowing you to type R statements directly and execute them. We won't really be using the R console command line because it executes one statement at a time and eventually we will be writing programs having more than one statement of R code. So now let us explore how to install RStudio, which is R's integrated development environment. 